Modeling Exercise M1-2, with the focus, User Interface, Edge Blend, and Simple Hole. With the Edge Blend and Hole commands, you will continue to familiarize yourself with the user interface. Learn how to select and deselect objects, and which snap options are available. You will find a drawing for the part as a download in PDF format for printing. Or you can open it on a second screen. Edge Blend We will now continue working on the last exercise. If you have already closed the part, open it with a click in the history, or open it with File, Open. In the next step, we will round the edge. The command edge blend offers several options. The options can be hidden by clicking on the small gear wheel and then clicking on less. And can be shown again by clicking on more. In the following exercises, you will get to know the various options. The normal standard edge blend is created with the setting G1 tangent and circular. Create edge blend. Enter the radius and press enter. Once again the note, the value is only accepted by NX after pressing enter. Choose single edge in the selection intent, and then the edge to blend, by left click. The select edge, now, displays the counter one. Select another edge to test, the counter now, stands at two. To deselect the edge, press and hold the shift key, and click on the additionally selected edge, again. The edge is deselect again, and the counter jumps back to one. Now confirm with OK. In NX, selected objects can be deselect again by holding down the Shift key. Double clicking on the surface of the edge blend takes you back to the menu. Here you can change the settings at will and finish by clicking OK. Hole menu. The requirements for the two holes are as follows. The position of the hole, sized 16, should be defined by a snap point, the center point of the radius. The position of the hole, size 10, on the other hand, should be defined by dimensions. The command hole includes six different types of holes, which are offered in the drop-down list above. By a click on Show Shortcuts, the options can be selected directly. To show the options as a drop-down list again, simply select the Hide Shortcuts. NX just retains the settings when creating commands, but not when changing commands afterwards. For example, if such settings are made when creating a new hole, NX saves the changed settings in the user interface. However, if the settings are made when changing a hole, they are not saved. Hole Variants A hole without a counterbore, or a countersink, is created with the hole type simple. The diameter can only be specified individually, by using the setting custom. The other two types of holes, create table-based hole sizes. Drill size is used, to create standardized hole diameters. And screw clearance is used, to create holes, whose sizes are adapted to the selected screw size. The hole direction is usually normal, to the selected surface. We will do an exercise, that deviates from this rule later. The depth limit can be set by a value, or one of the options. The thumbnails explain the different options.
Hole on snap point. Well, now we come to the positioning of the hole sized 16 via a snap point. Select the settings shown in the hole command. First, select single point. Then, select edge in the selection filter so that the cursor only catches edges. That sounds funny. It catches edges. Really? Let's move on. And now under snap points make sure that the snap options is set to arc center. If all options are inactive, you must first activate the snap options. To ensure that only the center of the arc is snapped, all other snap options should be switched off. Click on the edge of the edge blend. The size of the hole and the depth options can also be edited in the graphics window. Ready. The hole is created by clicking OK. The center of the hole is now connected to the center of the arc. If the radius is changed, the position of the hole also changes. Position the hole using dimensions. On we go with the hole size 10, which is to be positioned using the dimensions. Start the hole command again, the settings for the last hole are still set. Select the type filter, no selection filter. Move the cursor over the surface of the part. A coordinate system becomes visible. The orientation of the x-axis follows the orientation of a linear edge below the cursor. Depending on the position of the cursor, the coordinate system jumps to the next snap point. Select the top left corner with a left click. The dimensioning is created for this coordinate system. The dimensioning is created automatically. Select the dimensioning by clicking and change the values. You will learn about further methods of positioning a hole during the course. Quick pick. Let's go back for a second and start the whole command again. If you don't move the cursor for more than one second, three dots will appear at the cursor. After a left click, a list is displayed, from which the surface can also be selected. So, if you want to make a selection from the list, you simply have to hold the cursor motionless over an object for about one second, and then click. The delay can be selected in five levels under Menu, Preferences, Selection. Level 5 is the biggest delay. If the option is deactivated, a selection in the list is no longer possible. This setting only applies to this session. Change Hole The holes created can be selected and edited by double-clicking on the hole surface. After selecting the hole, which was positioned using dimensioning, further holes can be created, which are dimensioned to the same point. Further exercises will cover more options for positioning holes. In the next video, the threaded hole follows and you will learn more details about the user interface. See you in a moment. At LearnNX.com you will find this and other exercises. As a member, you can also access the site without advertising, along with practice materials and, if you wish, a certificate. I'm always open to ideas and suggestions.
write in the comments or directly to info at learnnx.com.